You've no sooner finished paying for all that holiday shopping, and the kids are asking, what are we doing for spring break? Really? But they're right. Now is the time to plan for spring break if you're thinking of going away. So how can you get the amenities you might be accustomed to as a business traveler even more at a price you can swallow, especially when traveling with a big family? You may need to trade off a hotel for a house or condo. Multiple nights at a hotel with a big group can be both cramped and expensive. Fortunately, renting a condo or home has never been easier, and you'll likely be shocked at the selection over half a million vacation rentals on sites like Home away and VRBO, Vacation Rentals by Owner. We've used these sites successfully in our family at the beach and the mountains, enjoying places we could never afford to buy or even thought we could stay at with space for six kids. On the luxury side, properties must meet stringent criteria and they don't come cheap, sometimes costing thousands per week and requiring a minimum stay of at least several days. But if you're traveling with multiple families and can split the cost, you can find some real deals. It being relative. Some advantages to renting include more space. According to HomeAway, the average vacation rental home is 1,850 square feet versus the average hotel room, an often cramped 325 square feet. You'll also get more privacy, perfect for some quality family time. Houses and condos also have kitchens, so you can prepare meals and save from having to eat out. And speaking of important family members, sometimes pets are welcome. You'll also avoid all the little extras that can really add up at hotels. Multiple people to tip, costly valet parking, Wi-Fi fees, mini bar items, room taxes, you get the idea. And even on the very, very high-end side, the math is still pretty compelling on a per-room rate. The luxury website Time and Place provided the following comparisons. This stunning Cliff Road estate in Nantucket has six bedrooms. Breaks down to approximately $800 per bedroom. Steep, but a relative deal in comparison to the lovely White Elephant Hotel in Nantucket, which in high season can run over $1,000 per room per night. You get the idea. With a little planning and a lot of searching on vacation rental websites, you can really knock the kids' socks off this spring break without spending a fortune. For USA Today, I'm Regina Lewis.